Hi, and welcome back to Captain J's Not Aid. Today, I'm going to do a video that I've been wanting to do a very long time, and I'm going to compare the use of this ingenious little device, the knot needle, to my Captain J's Not Aid. And I will tell you why. So when I first started back into fishing and I was having trouble with the line, I was trying to think of something, some way to make that easier for myself. I started with a, an actual large eye needle that I would cut off to make it blunt. And since a lot of my techniques were kind of like a threading a needle and using a needle to, uh, to tie the knot, kind of like, you know, knit one, purl two kind of thing. I thought a knotting needle instead of knitting needle, isn't that clever? Uh, might be a great idea. I almost trademarked that name when I saw an advertisement for this thing called the knot needle. I thought, okay, we'll have to rethink all of that stuff. But then I bought one, a knot needle, and so I, so I wanted to see what the competition was doing. And I found it's really a nice little device. And uh, we'll go through the comparisons, the differences and the similarities next. So, if you look on the website of this, the inventor talks about the same kind of issues that I was having to invent this. And what he wanted was an easier way for people with older eyes, older hands, older fingers, to be able to tie knots. Same here. If you look at what we had to go through, first of all, what, what do you use? I wanted something cheap and available. How do you keep the line in there? I found something to squeeze in there. He, look at how ingenious this is, a little spring here. You pull this down probably can't see it, but there's a hole in there that you can put the line or so you could, you can stick the line through there, except I think that's, it's a little small for me, but it holds it very nicely. Uh, another way you could do it, I think would be just to do that and stick that in there. Very easy. Very nice and genius, really. Uh, you know, this guy was an engineer or a machinist or something like that. This guy had a education in the humanities. So the difference between uh, these two is remarkable. I really do like this little device. Uh, let's talk about some other things though. What about the size? What size do you make this thing? Uh, some of the, the tools I've seen are quite large. When I've used, when I used uh, full size implements, like, sorry, but like that one, well, it's just not easy to thread it through. So I wanted it to be smaller. I don't know if this is exactly the right size, but it is easy to maneuver. This one, eh, maybe not so much. Um, what else? This one, because it's engineering and uh, high tech, or at least tech, where this is quite low tech, this one sells for $12.99 without the nail knot edition, uh, but it comes with a little holder, uh, and shipping is $3.99 when I last checked. This one used to have that cork, remember, so that it was easier to hold. Uh, if you dropped it, it would float. But I found that I'd have to charge $3.99 or more for shipping with that cork. When this thing is so cheap itself, I didn't think it was worth it. So now I'm just selling these, sending these. These are $2 plus $1.50 shipping for up to five in an order. These are $12.99 plus $3.99 for shipping. You can get five of these for $5 less. You can get one of these. But anyway, if you, oh, and if you lose this one, 
I read somewhere on their sites that they will sell you another one for half price if you lose it. Well, okay, that's, you know, that's fair. That's nice of them. If you lose mine, eh, just pull out another one, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's tie some knots with them and see what the differences are. We're gonna... <laughs>